Joining us now here at the Republican debate site in North Charleston, South Carolina, is Ken Cuccinelli. He's the former Attorney General of Virginia and a supporter of Ted Cruz. Great to see you here. Um, everybody assumes that tonight is going to be a brawl between Ted Cruz and Donald Trump. Do you share that expectation? Um, not to that extent. I think there'll be some exchanges, but I do not think it's going to reach the level of a brawl. Um, and I do think that the strategy you've seen, and it's kind of natural for him, for, for Ted is to hug. Right. You know, that's been, he's been sort of teased about it. Um, I don't think you're going to see him toss the first punch. But the gloves have come off in the last few days around this issue of, of Cruz's Canadian birth and whether he's eligible to be president or not. Um, do you feel as that, though, that attack, Donald Trump has gotten under the skin of almost everybody when he's gone after them. On this issue, it seems like he might have slightly gotten under the skin of Ted Cruz. Do you agree with that or not? Well, I think he hasn't done anything more than muddy the water here for a few people. I mean, I'm a constitutional lawyer. This, I litigate this stuff. And, yeah. and um, Ted's in good shape, or I wouldn't have gotten on board with him. Um, he's in exactly the same legal position as John McCain, as much as John McCain is confused about that. They're both born on foreign soil of U.S. citizen parents. But, Boom, but citizen. Counselor, aren't, so, aren't Lawrence Tribe and Donald Trump correct that since no judge has ruled on this, you oh, can't really okay. say. I, the, you can't the, really say. If you, if you want to say that that's the question, unless the Supreme Court has ruled, it's an open well, question. But no, judge, but no judge has ruled on it. So, I, I so appreciate I mean, judges that. could rule any, any which way. Right? In the sense so that they do. Sure, that's law. how we get some of our crazy but stuff. Senator Cruz goes around saying, it's, all settled, respect, law. it's settled. This is a settled issue. He might it, be it, right. He might have he the better of the right. argument, but he it's is not right. settled law. Term, it, it is settled law in the sense that the people who make the legal decision in all 50 states yeah. have already decided it. They decided it on John McCain and put him on the ballot. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, is, is the role that Goldman Sachs plays in our economy good for America, bad for America? Uh, well, certainly you need financiers. I mean, that goes all the way back to the, in the revolutionary era. Right. You know, one of the little written about parts of that history is how did we finance the war? And the answer is we barely did. So do you, uh, do you have anything negative to say about the role Goldman Sachs plays in uh, our economy? My objection to a lot of the folks on Wall Street is the advantages they get. I, I don't single out Goldman Sachs any more than I would any of the others. I mean, you quoted, uh, you showed Ted talking about. Dodd Frank is supposedly bringing some restraint to Wall Street. What it brought was protection, and and that's wrong. And the people who are suffering from that corporately are small community banks. They're getting killed. It's a great example of why Washington tends to favor the big guys, no matter what they say. And Ted has been a populist in the good sense. He has supported legislation that's good for everyone, not just special interests. Let me ask you this: We've been talking for a long time about the possibility that maybe the establishment lane will never. Consolidate, and this will end up being a Ted Cruz Donald Trump race. Yeah. Okay, in that race, you're obviously confident Cruz will win that race because you've endorsed him. What are the reasons why you think Ted Cruz wins ultimately in a one on one with Donald Trump? Well, first of all, I don't endorse him because I think he's going to win. I endorse him because I think he's the best for America. Well, I presume if you thought he was going to lose, you wouldn't have endorsed him. You know, um, like Ted, I have gotten in battles that looked very unlikely for me to win because it was the right place to be. In this case, I think he is the most likely to win, but it's a crowded field of high quality. Candidates. So why does he beat Donald Trump in a one-on-one? -on -one? Well, because while Donald brings an awful lot of passion to fighting the establishment, taking a flamethrower to them, he occasionally does things like attack Ted Cruz because Ted Cruz doesn't get along with people in Washington. The only people Ted Cruz doesn't get along with are inside the Beltway. He gets along with everybody else just fine. Um, he has a track record of fighting the establishment. Donald Trump has talked about it, and I appreciate what he's done in that regard, but uh, Ted Cruz has fought and bled. In the same we gotta direction. go. Just give me a one-word answer. In what month will we know who the Republican nominee is going to be? If I can only give one month, April. April. Good answer. Yeah. Might even be right. Not a bad answer. All right, Ken Cuccinelli. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. When we come back, the